Hi everyone! In this video I will show you how to import the data that you just exported from Brain Vision Analyzer into SPSS. So uh, let's take a look. I'm already in SPSS and I have my exported file over here. As you can see this is a different file than we ended up in the last video. Uh, this is actually a file from um, exported alpha power um, from a bunch of Catholic nuns. So this is a funny study um, that I did um, together with uh, researchers at Wayne State. I will post a link below. Um, and in this study we had um, Catholic nuns doing uh, praying and resting conditions. And this is the data from the alpha power that we um, extracted from or exported um, from all of the nuns uh, from the praying condition in the alpha band. Um, so I also gave it the name area, so area export from the prey condition and our, our um, alpha band for this um, elderly population was 7.5 till 12.5. Um, so what you can see here is um, it automatically gives you um, a variable name for your participants, which is PPN. I always like ID, so I turn it into ID. And then we have a bunch of um, variable names that start with, um, with the um, electrode name. Um, and because these are uh, pretty long and because the, the name of the participant is pretty long, it's, it's not really nicely aligned. Because actually this is the second variable and this is the second, um, uh, the second uh, column, but it doesn't really nicely align. So it looks a little bit uh, strange and we have a really long list of um, of our um, participant. Uh, I mean, of our variables. Um, but um, just stay with me. It will make uh, a lot more sense when we organize this better. So one thing that SPSS also doesn't like is this big enter here. So we have to remove this enter first um, to make this uh, file export importable into SPSS. So let's start with that. Then the next thing that SPSS does not like are um, uh, these spaces because SPSS will now think that this is a separate variable and this is a separate variable. So if you have this in your data, uh, you have to think uh, smart and I will show you how to do this smart and fast, um, a way to make this into one variable and to remove this space. Um, so to do that, I always use the control H trick so here we have a neat trick. So what I will do, I will do space and then type average. And I will remove that with average without a space. So see that I have a, a space over here. And then I will do replace all. And voila, we, are, uh, we got rid of the space everywhere. Okay, so these are really neat little tricks with just control H to fix your data set. Then in case that you did um, all of these things, so you used um, a dash instead of an underscore, this is also something SPSS does not like because it will think that this is a minus sign. Uh, so if you have this in, the, in your data, and then I don't mean in your data over here because obviously this can have minuses, but um, your variable names should not contain any minus signs. So if you have this in your data, make sure that you uh, search for it and then um, replace it with a normal dash. So um, you can hit find next and then replace. Okay, so I changed it. If you have more of them, you can hit replace, 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 replace. Um, be careful with hitting replace all because it could be that there are some minuses in here um, and then um, it replaces your minuses signs that should actually be there in your data. So be careful with that, especially if you use ERP data. So with, um, with my um, export for alpha power, there's no minus. But if you use ERP, um, there might be some minuses in your data that you don't want to uh, delete. Okay, so then um, you also want to um, make sure that there's no double spaces in your data set. So I again do this trick. I do space space and replace it by just one space. And let's see if there's anything in this data set. Replace all, I don't think so, because nothing happens. So a lot of the times uh, you see that there is, um, that there are a lot of spaces in your data, or double spaces, and you really have to remove all of them. But it looks like everything is working out, so we can save this one. 
and then um, <coughs> we can import it. So now it is ready and you already see that we have some nice columns over here. Um, and what we can do then is go here and we press file and then we say import data. And you want to import it from text data because Brain Vision Analyzer exports it as text data. Um, as you can see, you can also as, uh, import other data files such as CVS or Excel, but for Brain Vision Analyzer, it usually comes out as a text data file. Okay, then we have to go search for it. So let's see, I have it in my none study and we were working on this one. Okay. Then it depends a little bit on your version of SPSS, but um, usually it automatically already detects that you have some um, uh, that you have some uh, labels of the variables on in the top of your file. So just hit next, and then what you can say here. So delimited, text width, all these kind of things. Um, so um, I think everything goes well. Decimal symbol is a comma. Yes. So this is also important depending on your data. But remember that I said when I exported that I wanted to have commas. Okay. Now you can hit next. Okay. Yeah. So hit next and then you can see here you can say that your um, uh, that your variables are separated by spaces. So if I uh, exclude that, you see I don't have it. Um, but we are um, Brain Vision Analyzer exports it with uh, a space. And remember that we removed all the double spaces, and this is important for this step. So make sure that you um, click on space, and then you can go next. Yes, ID is your variable. So now what you can do is uh, go over all of these, but this is not necessarily because it automatically detects what kind of format it is. Um, but ID, so what you can say is that this is a string. Here you can say that um, all of this data, so all of this data is um, numeric. Um, this is not really necessary, but it does make it sometimes easier. Um, so now I said that all of my data is numeric except for this one and this one. My ID is a string. Okay, next. Well, this looks good. So um, we can hit finish. And then it takes a little bit of time. And voila, we have our data set. So this looks pretty nice. Um, obviously, you can um, work on some other things, maybe um, fix a couple of things here. Um, maybe you want to change this, but overall it looks pretty, pretty nice. And we have here, we have all of our electrodes. Um, some maybe you don't need, maybe you only need F4 uh, and F3 because you want to do frontal alpha symmetry. Um, and then you can see if you just want to keep those or um, maybe uh, you want to keep everything. So then don't forget to save, give it a different name and you are all set. Thank you very much. If you have any other questions uh, regarding importing your data set or you run into any trouble, you can always uh, put a comment below or just email me.